Hey you guys, okay so today I thought that I would share with you guys how I pack for a trip. I'm flying to LA in a few days and I thought that I would share with you guys how I organize my outfits, how I pack, the luggage that I pack, and I carry on everything. Especially if I'm just doing a trip for a couple days, I for sure carry on. It's easy. I'll show you the carry on that I have that I really like. And, um, well, I feel like I'm like right up on you. Let me back off a little bit. Let me back off. Share with you guys some tips on how you can save space. And, um, it's crazy because I haven't flown in a few years, which is nuts. We used to take I don't even know how many flights we took in such a few year time span right before Olivia was born. Um, before we had Olivia, you know, I was going a lot of places for work. Brad and I were taking a ton of trips. We would do just like, we would fly so many times a year. I got to be, I don't want to say like a pro, but pretty good at packing for, um, for flights and things like that. And then of course, you know, after our baby came along, it was so nice because we um, sort of like reevaluated a lot of things. It was nice that I didn't have to travel so much. I started making a lot of decisions where, you know, I didn't have to do a lot of that. She's four now, and I am venturing off to LA for one of my first official girls trips, I would say, since she's been born. Like a girls trip with without my girl, you know what I mean? I think I can totally save space when I travel and still have as many outfits, still feel so prepared. There's a few hacks that I have that's gonna help you guys, but um, like that I kind of learned over the years that are really, really good tips that are just, they always work. So must have travel companions, like luggage type of things. Oh, I've gotta get down my, I gotta get down one thing. Best type of like, purses to bring that's not going to take up so much space. I like to carry on for many reasons. Obviously, like you can get in and out quicker. I don't like to have to I don't want to have to wait on my luggage. I just don't want to pack a lot of unnecessary things and have to haul things to the airport, especially if you're by yourself. And something else that's pretty big is that I've, I've lost luggage. You always hear people say, oh, carry on, and these people have like never lost luggage. Well, that used to be me um, because I was terrified of losing luggage. And then when I went to Paris, we were going to be there for five or six days, I don't remember, and I was like, okay, obviously I'm gonna check a bag, and of course it got lost, and I think I got it like three days into the trip or something, so it was pretty, pretty crazy. Yes, I'm even, I'm even more paranoid now, but I think that you could, I think it's totally fine. I've checked luggage since then, and it was fine, but, um, but carry on when you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys mine. So let me share with you guys what I do. So, in my closet, it's kind of like toward where I'm looking right now, I have this door frame, okay? And I have like this pole over here that comes out. It's about that long. It's like this little telescoping pole that you can kind of like lay your outfits out for the week or do whatever. But like, if I'm packing for a trip, I want to be able to see everything. So I have this um, door frame in this room. That big makeup mirror over here and like my, my drawers and pretty stuff that's like built into that casing. But I'm glad that we kept it because that door frame serves as like the best visual like clothing rack not like a rack but whenever I pack for a trip this is where I put all of my clothes I like to visually see them when I pack for a trip I don't put anything into my actual suitcase until like the night before or the morning of if we're gonna like leave a little later let me take you through my planning phase I'm gonna show you everything that I'm brought that I'm that I'm, uh, I'm gonna show you everything that I'm bringing too not groundbreaking get yourself a little notepad break it down into like every part of the day right so I like travel out Friday night Saturday Saturday night next night travel back you know whatever. And it's like, I'll just kind of jot it down. And then I hang the things in order. It helps me visually see it, make sure that you're not missing missing anything, and take time to try everything on. Can't tell you how many trips I've gone on where you go. You try something on and you're like, this looks awful and I can't do anything because I'm not at home. I don't have all my clothes. Try on everything, okay? Huge, huge tip. Going to LA, I'm going to meet up with my friend Jen. We're going to have such a fun trip. I haven't been to LA in four years. We used to go like a couple times a year at certain points so we would go like every year and um, I've done a lot of the touristy stuff there and I think it's fun and I love going to LA it always like I'm always so ready to come home but it's so fun to visit and I'm like I want to do like all the basic fun stops you know like I'm gonna go to like all the fun restaurants like all the you know and that's what I always enjoy doing when I go there you know I do like some like the buzzed about like basic places I think it's really fun so I want to have nice outfits at night I want to look cute during the day but not too overdressed not too relaxed don't want to be fiddling with a bunch of different outfits. A lot of times when we go somewhere in the summertime, I'll bring a lot of dresses. Or I'll bring something that I don't really have to do a lot of separate pieces and mix, mixing and matching. For this trip, girl, I packed like 
all jumpsuits. Every single outfit is a jumpsuit and they all kind of mix and match and I think it's going to be really easy. I won't have to think about it. So yeah, everything laid out and then I put my shoes beneath each outfit. If I need a different bra, then I will run into that when I'm trying on everything. So like I try on the first outfit first with the bra that I'm going to wear, put on the next outfit and if I think, oh, I need a different bra. I need this kind of strapless bra. Well, then I put that on, you know, with it and then I put the bra under that, put the shoes I'm going to wear under that and move on to the next outfit and then just play off of the things that you already have, the bras, the shoes, and then if you need to add anything, then you add it, and nothing goes back into your closet. So it's all there, and you know exactly what to put into your suitcase. That's just kind of the way that I've always packed. It's just easy. I said I'll show you my suitcase and stuff at the end, but do you want to see the outfits? Let me just go ahead and show you the outfits. I think I actually might post this video like the day I leave or the day before. So follow me on Instagram and I mean I'll probably post photos, I don't know, like of my outfits or whatever. But you know like I've kind of put the jacket with the outfit that I'm wearing. This is what I'm going to wear in the plane and it's so cute that I can wear this like during the day. I could even like wear this out at night with something like with a nicer jacket but these jumpsuits you guys, I live for these jumpsuits. I have it in gray, I have it in black, and I have it in like an olive army green. But I'm going to wear this one. They're tapered just a little bit at the leg. I'm going to just put on some sneakers with it and I'll show you those. And then um, I thought this jacket would be so cozy and comfy. Super cute with this because it kind of like is the same, you know, it's like the same gray. But I thought that would be kind of cozy on the plane. Super cute. Looks put together. And then I'm going to probably wear these sneakers because I wanted to bring some that were a little cuter. Like some of my fancier sneakers but that were comfortable. And I was kind of back and forth between these and those spiky Louboutin ones that I have. But I, I don't know. I think I'm going to wear these. I haven't worn these as much as those. So it's these little um, Dior ones that have the little cutesy laces. And then I can wear these with some other stuff too. And we'll talk about that. That's my travel outfit. I can totally wear this jumpsuit during the day. Throw on a different jacket that I brought with it. I'll talk about that in a second. But I think that's a super cute outfit. It's really, really cute. And then I'll probably just bring one necklace like this that just goes with everything. Do you know what I mean? I just think that's so simple. You don't have to go nuts. Same with earrings. Just take like one set of earrings, whatever you wear. Then you don't have to pack jewelry. It's just super simple. Now at night, I wanted to kind of keep the same vibe. I still wanted to have like a jumpsuit. You know, I didn't want to do anything super, you know, fancy. But I just, I think jumpsuits, even if they are a little fancier, kind of like this one, is super cute. But it looks more casual if you put it on with a jacket like this. This jacket is the one that I got probably like 10 years ago from Revolve. Like before anyone even knew what the hell Revolve was. It was like my little secret. And now it's like everywhere. Anyways, I got this jumpsuit. I cannot wait to wear it. You guys, it is so cute on. And it has like a little ruffle, a little frill, but it has like this military vibe. But it's kind of like, it reminds me of like in True Beverly Hills when Phyllis Neffler like made her little like fancy wilderness girl outfits like with the colors, but it was like fancy. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Is that not what this is? Maybe kind of, but it kind of just the colors reminded me of that, but I just thought it was cute. That's kind of hilarious. It's kind of like the kind of the theme of the weekend no but I brought this because this would be so cute to just kind of throw over at night you can't find this jacket anymore it's by Joie and it was the little like when Lauren Conrad had this jacket back like in the hills days this was probably like pre YouTube even when it was like a leather jacket she would always wear and they came out with this soft version this is like one of the best items in my closet that I own. So anyways, got that. So it's kind of like edgy, but it's cute. It's not too dressy or too frilly. It's just kind of good. But for shoes, I am not so much like of a just plain stiletto, like, which I've got those. They're cute. But I don't know. Something about these, if I'm going to wear heels, this is what I wear. They're comfortable. Any kind of rock studs I love. But I love these that are just the all <clears throat> just the all nude version. They're not patent, so they're not too flashy. You would think, oh my gosh, they're studded and they're so like blingy, and but they don't look too fancy. I don't know what it is about these. They just look edgy, they're cute, and they're just super nice with that outfit. So what's hilarious is that like I could totally, I know, like I could totally put them on with something like this and just kind of make it work. So this is the only pair of heels that I'm going to bring. And hopefully, I think this is the only pair of sneakers I'm going to bring. So the only pair of shoes that I'm actually going to have to pack are those rock studs because I'll be wearing these in the airport. Then on um, the next day, I'm going to wear this, the cutest jumpsuit. Like you cinch it so it's sexy and cute, but it's got these sort of like very, very casual like details, a little military inspired. I don't know. And again, this black jacket will totally work with that or probably during the day. I mean, I might not even need a jacket at all. It just depends. Ellie's kind of weird like that. 
but these shoes look super, super cute with it. These are cinched at the bottom. If you're gonna wear a jumpsuit that's cinched at the bottom around your leg, you can get away with a sneaker. If it's more flowy at the bottom, it's gonna look a little sloppy if you wear it with a sneaker. In my opinion, I just don't feel like it looks as, as nice. I feel like if it has a larger leg, you need to put heel with it. So I'm gonna do that. And then another outfit that I could wear that night, or you know, I might even alternate it. I might wear like this one the first night, the next one the next night, I don't know. I had to bring this jacket. Y'all know this is like one of my favorite jackets ever. I love it, but it's the black version of my gray jumpsuit. It's just you know sleeveless scoop neck so it's not you know it shows a little but not too much it's just cute you know it's just flattering and pretty and looks super super cute with sneakers I could wear it you know casual with sneakers or um, these are super pretty with this jacket put that on and you're wearing like this cotton jumpsuit that's super cute and flattering but it feels like you're wearing pajamas and you look good to go out at night because I like I said I don't like to dress up too much and what's so cool is that basically everything that I brought pretty much is mix and match like you could change your jacket you know I mean just whatever you know it's so easy um if I wanted to like repeat a jumpsuit like if I you know I could wear like this with the pink jacket or with the black and just kind of mix it all up you know so I've got outfits for everything um the next day I honestly considered bringing the olive color jumpsuit and I was like, Tiffany, no girl, too much, like reel it in. So I decided to bring my Spanx leggings, which I usually don't have hung up, but I, you know, for purposes of like seeing everything, I hung them up with this. So my Spanx leggings, super comfortable, just my plain black ones and just a cute little L&M sweatshirt. This is one of my favorite ones that I've had recently and it's supposed to be really cold in Atlanta when I come back. So I think I'm just gonna maybe just, just wear this and just, um, try, just try to try to live, try to survive. They were calling for snow that night here, but now they're calling for it the next day. Who knows? I don't even know. It's Georgia. It's probably going to be like 70 degrees now. Who knows? I like to bring a nice pair of PJs. These are just like some silky Victoria's Secret ones that I've had for years. They're just like my old faves. And then something about staying in a hotel, like you just never know. Swimsuits are so incredibly tiny. Just pack one because there's been so many times when I'm like, oh, you know, we won't go here or whatever. And then we'll get like some cheap day pass to a spa where I'm like, oh, well, I could have gotten in. And I don't have a bathing suit. You know what I mean? I don't have a swimsuit. So, and then I brought my little like bougie swimsuit. So, because, because why not? And then let me think, um, I really like, definitely don't think we're going to be like doing any of that, but I just, this is just a weird thing with me. I always have to pack one. Show you my actual suitcase. We'll get into handbags, but let me show you my ultimate handbag, like going through an airport security, is this bad to say, hack? Um, you're not like fooling anybody. It's totally like what you're doing is okay, but I've seen, and I've told my friends this so many times when you're carrying on or when you're like, you know, should I bring my purse? Should I bring my makeup? Like, what should I bring on the plane? Because so many times, even when I've carried on, I've gone to get on the plane and they're like, we actually have to check your bag because it's full or for whatever reason. Hopefully, I'm not going to do that this time. I got like a really good ticket, so I'm not going to have to do that. Um, but, but honestly, even there, you just never know when they're going to like take your bag and you don't want to have something nice in there. Like, like I said, you think, oh, I'm, I'm through security. I'm, I'm good. I'm clear to go. Let me put like my nice bag in my purse or my nice bag in my you know, carry on or this or something that I might need. And then, you know, at literally the gate of the plane, they take it, you know, they're making you leave them right there, like right when you get on, like in the doors of the plane. So you just never know. I like to keep my valuables with me and on me. And if you have a handbag, it's just not big enough. You'll have your laptop, you'll have your, um, you might have like a drink or something, something that you want to carry on the plane with you and your purse. And when you carry on, you can really only take your carry on suitcase, which is this. I'm going to show you the one that I have. It's like the largest carry-on that you can carry for domestic flights, at least. It's like pretty much guaranteed. You might want to get a smaller one to be safe, but that one works, and I'll tell you what it is. So you get your suitcase that you can put in your overhead bin, and then you can have a personal item. And that goes for men, too. So sometimes I like really, and like if I'm traveling with Brad, I'll like make him carry this other, you know, so like he gets a personal item, too. Um that you can have at your seat, stick under your chair. That's usually like a purse, right? So what I do, I've literally carried this thing on most every flight I've ever been on in the last like 10 years. This thing is like just my tried and true. Take this out for sure. I have one of these like things in it, but that's just gonna take up space. Ooh, there's, a, there's a tampon in there. Okay, so huge, really just roomy. This is the GM, never full. So what you do is you put your laptop in here, right? So you'll have like your laptop in the back. And then whatever handbag you're carrying, right, you stick in here, okay? You with me? This would even fit in there. You're, it's like it's like a Mary Poppins bag, right? It, but I'm gonna show you the purse I'm carrying, why that doesn't matter. 
And then, makeup bag, all your little toiletries can go in here. You have plenty of room for, a, I mean, so much room for everything, right? That's how my straps got so destroyed on this bag because I had my, my laptop, my purse, every single thing. So freaking heavy. And that works. So it's basically like you've got your carry-on and you've got your personal item. So that's good. Get yourself one of these. Get yourself a big bag, a big tote bag. Put all your other stuff in it, like your purse and this and that. You know what I mean? So I love that. I think that's a really good idea. And another thing, too, I'll talk about my purse in a minute. I don't like to carry a bunch of different sunglasses because it's something that can crush. I'm usually packing pretty tight, so just carry one pair. You don't need like a different look for every day. These are just, they might not be the most flattering. I love them. They like really protect your face on an airplane, on wherever. They're so good. They're comfortable. Bring a comfortable pair. You know what I mean? So this is all I'm going to carry and I'm probably not even going to carry a case for them because I'm just going to wear them. Normally, like if we go on a road trip or something, I'll put my makeup and stuff in this. This is too bulky to bring. I mean, girl, who are you? Like, I don't have time for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack my makeup pretty pretty small. I'm going to do that tonight. You know what I might, I might do another video if you guys want to see like how I packed my makeup and my toiletries. I'm going to try to get everything into this one bag. I know they used to make you put all of your toiletries into one like little Ziploc bag and you know you have like the three ounce roll which I'm sure it's never really hard to do because most things you need like if you needed lotion, if you need sh shampoo, they have all that at a hotel but I'm just going to pack little samples and have those little pop travel containers that I put all of my like face lotions and face creams in so it's literally like a stack of little containers. I will link to those. They're amazing. I've talked about those before. Everything's going to go in here and this is so like small you can just slip it right in the side. Like for handbags, I don't want a lot of different purses. Really I need a big bag when I'm traveling through the airport. So you got this. Do you see what I'm saying? That's a good little trick. Um, but you know I want something that I don't have to change out of. Something that looks cute during the daytime. Something that'll look cute if we go to a nice dinner. Some more like nice, you know, without carrying some little tiny clutch bag that I have to swap in and out of. I do not do well when I pack several purses, as you guys know. The story about this little guy that was left in a hotel for like, oh my gosh, how long was it? Was it like two months? That was so shameful. I'm lucky I got him back, but let me just tell you that I don't... I didn't want to tell that story again. But anyways, I have a whole video where I told that story. So we're not going to revisit that. But well, this is nice. And this is like my first choice. It's a little bulky. I mean, I don't know. It's perfect for the daytime. But you know, like when you're going out at night and stuff, it, it gets heavy because I tend to overload it. And while it does fit in here, I think this bag itself is just going to be a little much. You know what I mean? I just don't think I need all that. So this is just perfect. I love this bag so much. The Chanel reissue. I was going to say, I don't think it gets enough love. I think it does. Mostly, t most of the time, like, you see the more, like, basic Chanel bags that are, like, I really like this one because it's not so flashy, but it's just beautiful. I think this is my favorite type. I've had it for several years, and it just gets better and better. But, um, so good, right? Like, during the day, it's the perfect bag. It is huge, so it carries everything. But then at night, like, your cutest little outfit, it looks like a nice little, I mean, it's not a little bag, but it's just, it's just a nice looking bag. And I just think it goes with everything. So I don't want to get too matchy-matchy and say, oh, well, I've got to carry this little nude clutch to go with my shoes, and i got to carry something small. Like, I don't like to do that. Just, you know, carry what works for you. And what else, you guys? Oh, okay, so let me share with you guys details about my suitcase because I really love it. I've talked about this a lot in the past. Oh, hello. A lot in the past. Like, you guys know, just the way that I travel, I don't know, like, I just... I don't want to spend my money on a des designer piece of luggage just to, like, you know, take through the airport. So, I love that and I, I think it would be nice to have and I'm sure at some point I might do that but having traveled so much and being realistic and seeing the situations I've gotten into where like you'll have your perfect little bag and it's like nope gonna take that you know what I mean it's like it just doesn't work for me shoving things into overhead compartments like I'm not doing that I don't want to worry about my luggage and I just I don't give a crap but I want it to look nice and kind of just like I just want it to be like utilitarian and to look nice oh it's like spinning. I got this. I'm in no way affiliated with this company whatsoever. I actually heard about it on a podcast that I listened to, but anyways, it's the Away luggage, and they have two different sizes of carry-ons. They have one carry-on that's just called, I think, the carry-on that definitely works for any like domestic or international flights, but then this one's called the larger carry-on, which works for domestic flights and some international, you know, because it's a little more strict. Like, I just, I want to, I want to, you know, I want to get it all in there. Um, but what is really cool is that it has a... A battery right here and like a little um, plug where it can charge your iPhone like five or six times or something you just take this out and you um 
you charge it. As long as you're carrying it on, it's fine. I know like, if you go to check your bag, you'll need to like take this out and you know carry it with you. So it's, it's really good if you're going to carry on. This is some kind of material, some kind of like special. I don't say like, it's, that's bad. Not like a tactical material. What is it? It's like a, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's something that won't crush and it won't crack and it won't smush. But it has a little bit of gifts. Like if you kind of push it, you can kind of see it flex a little. Like if you really ever stuffed your bag, it's not just going to like smush your stuff. So I like that. It rolls really nicely. Inside, like it has a compartment up here. So like you can zip things on top. And then it has this, which this is super freaking cool. It's like a separator thing. Like you can take any of this out, of course. But like a rigid, you know, framed thing that you can put on top of other things. And then like put your other clothes on top or... You know, like you want to just put your dirty things in here when you leave or whatever. And I think there's a little bag too right here that unzips that you can put dirty clothes or like a wet bathing suit or, you know, something in. Super cool. And they come in all different colors. I'm just like a black luggage person though. So that's what I'm carrying. The only thing that I'm not <clears throat> really showing you guys just because I haven't done it yet. I think I'm going to pack it. So I haven't done it yet. I think I'm going to pack it tonight. It's just filling this up with, um, with makeup and just my little samples and I have like this little pack of like Orbe shampoo like a little like those little paper packs I can use twice I'll put in here and then of course my little you know round little things that I'm gonna link to that I squeeze out my you know my face cream and my face I think I have like a sample actually a little tube of my face cream that I use one of my moisturizers but anything that's like in a larger thing I just put it in those little containers and it just makes it so easy makeup really doesn't take up that much space I mean, I can pack everything that I need in here, and it's perfect, you know, and then I'll just go really minimal on, like, brushes and things that I bring. I probably won't even bring eyeshadow. Do you know what I mean? So I could just bring, like, my little Chanel cream eyeshadow in the pot that I can just use. So so just super simple. I like to keep it very, very simple and basic. Um, especially, I just, I feel really good about the things that I packed, the jumpsuits, and um, when I was kind of laying it out yesterday, I was like, that might be kind of fun to talk about or to kind of, like, show you guys well, I feel like I'm like creeping up on the camera again um, to show you guys what I packed. So yeah, I'm going this weekend, so follow me on Instagram, and I'll kind of like update and stuff. It'll be kind of fun to share with you guys uh, the trip. So excited to go see Jen and have a fun girls weekend. And what else, you guys? I can't really, I can't really think of anything else. So um, so yeah, I hope that this was helpful. Oh, underwear and bras. I only think the only thing that I didn't show you was like underwear. And bras. So I could probably just get away with like bringing a bra, like one bra. If you're just going for a couple days, like girl, you don't need to bring like 17 bras. Like you'll be fine. You know good and well that you wear a bra more than one day in a row. You'll be fine. But whenever you go on a trip, you just get it in this mindset of like, oh my gosh, I have to pack 17 bras and this and that and 17 like and three extra pairs of underwear every day. And it's like, what are like what are you gonna be doing? You know? I really try to just like plan it out and visualize what I'm wearing and pack as little as possible. Underwear for each day, of course. But, you know, and, and two, like, take things that you know will work with the outfits. Okay, whatever. Like, you guys get it. But I'm so excited. So excited to go and see Jen. So excited to get back out to L.A. It's been so long. So I think it'll be really fun. And, um, like I said, follow me on Instagram to keep up with me this weekend. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back next week. I may post on Tuesday instead of Monday just to kind of, like, give me time to get back and everything. Um, so I don't have to, like, come right home and post a video on Monday. But yeah, you guys, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Love you so much, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.